Hello and welcome back. In this video, we will see how to find number of Sundays between two dates. So this is just an example. It doesn't mean that you just count Sundays between two dates. You can count any day of the week. Say for example, you want to count number of Mondays, Tuesdays between the two dates. Okay. So the same thing applies for other days of the week. Here I am just taking the example of Sunday. So let's get started. So first we will take two dates. Okay. So today is 16th October 2020. So let's find number of Sundays between 1st October 2020 to 31st October 2020. So our start date. Let's import calendar dot get instance and the start date we will set this one year 2020 month it is October 10th month but in Java it's 0 to 11 0 means January and 11 means December so we want to have October so we need to set 9 and the day is first so in the same way we will set end date and this is 31st October. So 1st October 2020 to 31st October 2020. So now here we want to count number of Sundays. So what we will do, we will iterate from 1st October to 31st October. So let's have one while loop. So what we will do, our start date It should be before end date till then iterate this. Okay. Let's say one count variable over here to count the number of Sundays between these two dates. So as of now it's zero. So what we want to do is that we will go from 1st October 2020 to 31st October 2020. So this is our condition start date before end date and we will increment this start date one by one. So our condition is for Sunday. So first we will take when it's 1st October 2020 get calendar dot day of week. Okay. We want to compare it with Sunday because we want number of Sunday. So calendar dot Sunday. So here if you go then Sunday is 1 okay the Monday is 2 and likewise it will go till Saturday if you see Sunday 1 Monday 2 Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday and Saturday is 7 okay so if you don't want to do like this then you can do like this as well this will return the int value but better to have calendar dot Sunday because anyone will get idea that you put condition on Sunday by looking at one integer value, the people will get confused, other developers, so on, right? So let's have this kind of thing, calendar dot Sunday. So if we found Sunday, we will do count plus plus. We will come over here inside this if condition, but later. Now what if it is not Sunday? Then we will add and we will move forward to the next date. From 1st October, say for example, which is our initial date, we will move to 2nd October. So we need to add one day in our start date because we have condition on our start date that it should be before end date. So what we will do, we will move our start date from 1st October 2020 to 31st October 2020. And when it will become 1st November 2020, it will come out of this iteration because then this condition will not get satisfied because 1st November 2020 is not before the 31st October 2020. So here we will add one day. We will say like this calendar dot date and we will add one day. So what will happen for the 1st October 2020? It will not go inside this one. It will go inside this one. It will add one day. It will become 2nd October 2020 
the next iteration again it will go inside this else condition it will add one more day it will become 3rd october 2020 which is saturday in the next iteration it is 3rd october 2020 again it will go inside this else condition it will add one day so it will become 4th october 2020 which is sunday so in the next iteration this condition will get satisfied it will do count plus plus now we got the first occurrence of the day that we are looking for in our case sunday so now here we got the first occurrence of the sunday in our example right so why to move day by day now 5th october 6th october and likewise because we know that the next sunday will come just after exact 7 days that is 11th october in our example right so what we can do if we find the first occurrence of the day we are looking for directly at the 7 days so what will happen the first 2 3 it will go inside the else okay on the 4th october 2020 when the start date will become the 4th october 2020 it will do count plus plus it will add the 7 days so in the next iteration it is 11 october 2020 this condition will get satisfied because it is sunday yes count plus plus add 7 days same 18 25 and on the 1st november 2020 it will come out of this iteration so we will put count let's run this program see we got count as 4 if we count saturday we should get 5 so here just do saturday let's run the program see we got 5 so here you can put anything any day of the week sunday monday or if you put 7 like this it will give you the same count that is 5 because 7 integer value is basically for saturday but better to have like this so we are counting number of sunday so you need to remember one thing that just go one by one so this is you know else part you can say that to find the first occurrence of the day that you are looking for so sunday monday whatever day once you find the first occurrence of that day you will move 7 days directly in our example we did like 4 to 11 18 25 and 1st november on 1st november 2020 it is not before the 31st october 2020 so it will come out of this loop and it will print the count so this is how you can find number of sundays between two dates basically this will apply it for any day of the week monday tuesday wednesday anything if you like the video then please subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell like the video Do comment in the comment section and share with your friends. We'll see you in the another video. Till then, happy learning and happy coding.